you can see by those records how successful and special both guys are. That reach difference, that 76 inch reach with that jab, that's a big, that's a big thing for Gegard to use as a weapon. Here is Michael C. Williams. Bellator MMA live on DAZN from the fabulous Forum the Time has come for our second main event of the evening. Three five-minute rounds in the middleweight division. Sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission. Commissioner John Carpelli, Chair. Executive Officer is Andy Foster. And now, first, introducing the blue corner. At six foot two, weighing in 186 pounds even, the former Dream Strike Force and Bellator World Champion brings an incredible professional record with 45 wins, seven losses, and two draws. By way of Leonor P. Fights out of Amsterdam, Netherlands, presenting Gengo Mustasi. And across the cage is Atmosphere, fighting out of the red corner. At six foot one, weighing in 186 pounds, the former light heavyweight world champion tonight enters with 26 professional victories, eight defeats. By way of Lomita, California, he fights out of Belém, Para Brazil, introducing Moyoto, the Dragon Machida. In charge of the action, Mike Beltran. So guys, bring it in. All right, don't get over the rules already. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch goes now if you want. At the sound of the bell, come on up. Handle your business. Let's go. Three five-minute rounds scheduled here in the middleweight division. Our second main event of the night, Gegard Musasi in his 55th professional fight. Leota Machida. Set to right, begin Forest his 35th pro fight. contest. Referee Mike Beltran calls for the bell. Machida, the red gloves. Musasi in the blue. Machida out of the southpaw stance, and Machida really is. Well, I want to say Karate Kid, but at uh, 41, John, maybe not so much as a kid. Well, he's the dragon, that's for sure. The one thing about Leonardo is he's very fast with his kicks because he doesn't do a setup. He just swings into it. That makes it hard to deal with and hard to see. Musasi admitting that Machida was just better than him when they met five years ago. Machida, Musasi said that it was following Machida too much, which is, which is exactly what Machida wanted. Now, Musasi not making any excuses, but was coming off a long layoff going into their first fight because he had an ACL injury. Well, one of the things, if you just saw that first kick by Leoto, what you saw Gegard doing is he's trying to sweep the leg past him. It's almost like the Matador sweeps the bull past him. If he's able to do that, he's going to put Leoto in a position where he cannot attack, and you're going to see Gegard blasting him with the right hand. Oblique kick attempt by Musasi Machida, the only fighter in UFC history to earn two knockout victories, stemming from a front kick to the face. Last fight in the octagon, he vanquished Vitor Belfort. And of course, he also beat the legendary Randy Couture, sending Couture into retirement. So uh, Musasi has to be cognizant of the fact that Machida, he can kick from many different angles, John. That he can. And he's got power. Oh, but the right hand counter clip Machida. He has definitely. Musasi getting Machida's attention here in the opening round. Twenty-six of Musasi's forty-five wins have come via form of knockout. The crowd at the forum chanting Musasi, and I'm sure there's a few chanting for Machida as well. Two of the most accomplished fighters in all of MMA. See Machida with that nice hip feint. He sits there and twitches his hip. Counter accommodation by Musasi. That is exactly what Gegard needs to do every time. There is movement towards closing of that distance. Gegard needs to unload on him.
Uchida, Black Belt and BJJ and Shotokan Karate. It's a family affair for the Machidas. Machida's ground game is outstanding, but I But he hasn't won by submission since there, 2007. There is a distinct difference in the ground games of Leota Machida and Gegard Mousasi. What is the biggest difference, John? The pressure that Gegard creates. He is able to create a heavy pressure when he's on top, and his defense, if he is taken down, is outstanding. Taking a, a while to renew acquaintances here in the opening round. They went five rounds the last time, five years ago. But only three rounds to get it done here tonight. Gegard not allowing Ryota to breathe as far as that distance. Ryota, you see, trying to create a distance to collect the breath. Gegard immediately shuffling his feet straight into him, putting the pressure back on. And Musasi encouraging Machida to come forward. And Machida launches the head kick blocked by Musasi. Oh, and counter shot there, the straight left down the pipe by Machida. Coming up on the final minute of the first round. Lead low kick by Musasi. Anytime you see Leota Machida coming forward on Gegard, you know Gegard is not doing what he needs to do to win this fight. He has got to continue to maintain that at least even pressure, if not forward movement. Musasi training out of the Burt Kopf's gym in the Netherlands. Machida representing Machida Karate and Black House. Of course, Black House. He trains with the likes of former UFC heavyweight champion Fabricio Verdun and that Michelle Prezeris, who's quite the flamboyant fighter, but as we close out the opening round, we will head to round number two. Not a lot to digest in that opening round. John, how did you score it? Not a lot, but if you're gonna look at who landed the better strikes throughout, Machida had his moments, Gegard had his, but remember that and one shot that pushed Machida across the cage. That's what's going to give Musasi that round. According to our friends at Fight Odds, and I appreciate the, the tweets from the night, Gegard Musasi, a minus 340 favorite against Leona Machida, is at plus 270, as Cyborg will get set to challenge Julia Budd for the Bellator MMA featherweight title and her Bellator debut coming up. And, well, one of the best pound for pound female boxers, Cecilia Breku, an undisputed welterweight champion. And there's been some talk that maybe Cyborg would like to step into the boxing ring against Breku. All right, gentlemen, second round. Red fight, red fight, hell go. The bell in round two. Yoda Machida in the red gloves. Gegard Musasi in the blue gloves. Nice movement by Gegard to cut that movement of Machida off. Take not only the step to the side, but also a little bit of a step forward. Cheetah is so hard to deal with because he's lulling you into attacking him because he wants to counter. He looks open, but then he creates that little bit of space that makes you miss, and then immediately Obliquely. closes and touches you with a shot. By Musasi. Neither wants to lead the dance, John. <laughs> well, that is exactly it. Both of them are afraid of the counter of the others. Leoto's trying to set little traps, giving him movements. Look at the hit and twitch that he'll give. Little movements like, I'm going to do something, because he's wanting Gegard to think that that attack is coming. So he throws, so Leoto can get, come out with his counter. 
talk about the kicking strategy of Musasi and the way he is uh, trying to attack the lead leg of the southpaw. There's what I'm talking about with that nice little matadoring of the leg to bring the right hand. And there's Musasi. Beautiful. Usulata strikes, moving in. And again, no up coming Machida. right after him quickly. Trying to create that, keeping that pressure on Machida. What do you think of the oblique kicks, John? I like the oblique kicks. I know there's a lot of guys that don't sit there and say, oh my God, the knee. We allow people to punch and kick people to the head. The head is the most precious thing we have. I can deal with an oblique kick anytime. Don't hit me to the head, don't kick me to the head. I'll be a great fighter. Under three minutes left in the middle frame. And the fuse yet to be lit in this middleweight main event. Inside leg kick by Musasi. Machida switching back to southpaw. And when Machida switches to that southpaw, you should see Musasi now attack him oh. with that, that right kick to the body. It right is open for him. By Musasi that he threw. Just past the midpoint of the round and the fight. Just like Machida just threw that left kick to the body of Musasi, Musasi needs to start utilizing that right kick to Machida's body in that southpaw position. Now Machida has 11 knockouts and two submission wins, but likes to espouse the karate mentality in that point fighting, John. Well, he, he's always in the position of, I want you to think there's an opening. I want you to think you can attack, and he's going to counter off. Well, someone master. has to attack. Two minutes left in the second, and the crowd trying to get behind, trying to light these fighters up here at the Forum in Los Angeles. And now Musasi again. There's the kick by Machida. That's off the arm, no big deal. Tell Frank Shamrock that, who had his arm shattered by Kung Lee in San Jose, California. And there's a difference between yes. someone hitting solid and just slipping by. Yeah, a minute and a half left in the second. People have told me that I have commitment issues, John. I, I believe that Machida and Musasi might have the same problem. Oh, well, and, you know, look, this is, here's the difference. You just watched in his last fight, Leon Machida fight Chael Sonnen. Yeah. Chael Sonnen is always known as a guy that comes forward, pressure fighter. And that's why he earned a lot of big fights. Absolutely. But it also earned him a knee to the chin. And sent him into retirement, but uh, the fighting loss is broadcast game. And that's what happens when you fight Leona, he blows you into wanting to come after him. So Gegard is trying to be technically sound but, he, when he's coming forward. And there's Machida with the left, and Machida with a body kick counter left from Musasi. And in the final 25 seconds, let's see if they start to bring the fight to each other. Counter right hand by Musasi. Musasi's taking his eyes off of Machida at times, and that's not a good thing. If you're gonna dip that head, my eyes gotta be on my target. The third and final round coming up here from the Forum in L.A. Familiar, John. Yeah, that's, that that's Andrew Simon. <laughs> right there, behind voice. <laughs> Andrew Simon, formerly of Access TV, a man who gave me an opportunity to call New Japan Pro Wrestling. Can't wait for Wednesday. Next two, but here we go, third and final round of this fight. All right, gentlemen, third and final round. Ready to fight? Ready to fight? Hell 
have said that, referee, as we got Leona Machine to the red gloves. We saw see the blue gloves. Five minutes to settle the score. Can Musashi avenge the loss of old Machida? Make it two straight against the dream catcher. I really believe whoever takes this round is going to take the fight. They both have to open up, decide, I got to go for this. Nice movement, but nothing happened. So far, their offense has been hermetically sealed. <laughs> There's a body kick in the counter by Musasi. You can see how Leota stance. He's got that lean to the rear. And that is making Musasi not throw that left hand because he's figuring, I'm going to throw it and he's out of range for me. I got to move too much with my feet to get that thing to land. That free sage uh, maybe an attempt at that front kick to the face as Musasi goes for the oblique kick. There was a front kick to the body of Musasi maybe gauging the distance. Gauging distance, but definitely not throwing. Keeps on doing the little stomp to the top of Musasi's foot. Little kick to that ankle area, stepping on his foot. When he's stepping on his foot, that's smart because it makes as you try to retreat, now you get elongated out. You get hit with a shot, it's gonna put you down. And now it's the Machina chance that resonate around the forum here in Los Angeles. Just a chess match. Both guys wanting to throw at times, looking for that opportunity. Just isn't not a, seeing it. Isn't there a timer in some chess matches? <laughs> you gotta make a move? On some games. Yes. And Musasi continues to deliver the oblique kick, but it doesn't seem to have any effect on Machida this one. No, but yeah, really, I think the problem is that Musasi is taking most of his kicks out of the equation here. He's Body mostly kick. fighting this like a stand-up boxer. Liver kick there by Machida. Now low kick. And there, Musasi coming in head down, swinging wildly. That touched him. Machida tags Musasi under two minutes left in the fight. Musasi, Machida trips. And Musasi comes with the right. Machida says, okay, let's go. Well, let's go. Oh, you know what? It takes two to tango. He's got to bring it. Oh, the nice kick kick. Musasi has Machida on the ground, and now Musasi in the ground. Open guard of Machida. He's got to, okay, yes, he's attacking the side of the head. Wrapping around those shots. Minute and a half left in the fight. What can Musasi do to maximize the top position working from the close guard of Machida? Right now he needs to think about keeping his hands off of that canvas, put his hands towards the biceps or shoulders of Machida. Create space, posture, and start to do damage with big shots. Final 60 seconds of our co-main event. Middleweight rematch between Lyoto Machida and Gegard Musasi. Musasi holds seven wins over former UFC Strike Force or Bellator champions. Final 30 seconds. They are trying to create a posture move. You see, Machida looking for the guillotine. The Don't believe he has it, but this attempt 
could be the difference in this round, man. And Musashi has been submitted three times, including the Akiyam Team Joe. He is fine right now. You see him blinking. He's trying to control the hand. There is pressure, but not enough to get him to stop. And it goes the distance. With Machida looking for the guillotine choke at the end, Musasi helping him to his feet, they embrace. But it will be up to the three judges chosen by the California State Athletic Commission to render their decision as to who will win this rematch. How do you have it after three rounds on your unofficial scorecard? No, I had it I had it even going to the last, and you know, that was very close in the stand-up. It goes to the ground. Leoto's the one that actually landed more as far as volume and shots. And that guillotine attempt at the end is fairly tight. That's the that's the most telling part of the round. I'm going with Leona Machida. Just action of the fight. Here's Musasi going after him. He lands that left hand and then a right on top. Leg kick that puts him down, that's off balance. You see Machida going right back from Masasi trying to land shots. Wasn't able to land anything off of it. Here comes Machida with this kick up high. Boom, that landed solid. He ends up going down from it, but that kick did land. And from this position, you see Machida opening up with some strikes, going after the guillotine choke. It's the closest thing that had the possibility of ending this fight. But the fight ends after three rounds. And so we await the judges' verdict. Let's find out who is going to be popping a bottle of La Chamin du Here is Michael C. Williams with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, for the decision, we'll go to your judges' scorecards. Your first judge, Michael Bell, scores the fight 29-28. He sees the fight for Machida. Your second judge at Cape Side, Ron McCarthy, scores the fight 29-28. He sees the fight for Musasi. Your third and final judge, Luis Colbian, scores the fight 30, 27. He has it for the winner by split decision. Gegard Musasi. So Gegard Musasi evens the score against Lyoto Machida via split decision. Musasi picking up his 46th career victory. Let's go to Big John McCarthy. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the winner, Gegard Musasi. Gegard, that was a very tight, close fight. You were both trying to get angles on each other. What were you thinking in there against him this time? Well, he's a crafty. He, I had to fight this way. I couldn't take a lot of risk. Uh, I neutralized him, and uh, I had to fight like this. I couldn't do it. In one of the one of the last sequences, you got hit with a head kick, but he was off balance. You ended up on top. And how tight was that guillotine attempt? He didn't hit me with the kick. Uh, guillotine was tight, but nothing that I would have tapped for. If given the opportunity, who is it that you're looking at next? Do you want to rematch with Lovato, or is there someone else out there you want to fight? Oh, it's going to be Lovato next fight. For Lovato next fight? 100%. Sounds good to me. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the man. 